Some Washington insiders called him a Boy Scout, an unabashed dreamer. His enthusiasm, his idealism were unadulterated. But beneath his buttery surface, wrote one reporter, was a second skin of steel. He was the best all around politician I've ever seen. Yet today, he's all but forgotten, overshadowed as an in-law of the nation's most powerful political family. There are too many Kennedys in public office right now. How do you personally answer that question? Well, I say my name is Shriver. <laughs> Robert Sergeant Shriver. From the summit of privilege and power, he dared America's youth to work among the poorest people in the world and live out their country's most revolutionary ideals. Letting their actions speak for their hearts and for their minds and for this country. There was the sense of something new was emerging and that whatever it was, the Peace Corps was in the vanguard. The Peace Corps became the symbol of American idealism abroad. But when Shriver was asked to fight poverty at home, his methods became a threat to politicians everywhere. For the first time in the history of this country, poor people actually have a place and a way in which to express themselves. He fed the attack dogs that went yapping incessantly after the establishment. He was the golden boy. And now all of a sudden, he's running into political resistance from every quarter. It doesn't smack well with me, and it's more or less rebellion you had down there. And I don't apologize to anybody, anywhere. All these criticism coming out, you're doomed to fail. You're too messianic. It was a time of hope and change. Amid a decade of conflict and rage, war and rebellion. And from deep within the political establishment, Shriver launched a string of social inventions that shaped an era and allowed a generation to live out its ideals. Peace Corps, VISTA, legal services to the poor, Head Start. He's probably had an effect on more Americans and more people across the world than anyone who hasn't been a president or a world leader, and probably even more than some of them. You go around the campuses now, there's more anti-hunger groups on the campuses, more housing programs. You should start with where you are, right here in your campus. For Shriver, the Peace Corps, the War on Poverty, and America were acts of the imagination. They were ways that we should see and therefore be in the world. Very bad housing, very bad education. That kind of poverty does not need to exist in the United States any longer. It can be wiped out. 